Hi everybody, it's Robbie from Southern California. I put up a video this morning or this afternoon on the seeds that have been coming into the United States. I have since found out they're not coming to just the United States. The Chinese have been sending them all over the world and the seeds are all different. I hope what my thoughts are are wrong. And this is very serious, so this is why I'm putting up a second video right away. I hope I'm wrong. Let me real quick try to explain that the Chinese have been working lately with GMOing seeds where they do not generate fruit. The longer you keep a fruit for one generation to the second generation, the fruit will diminish until the third and fourth generation of that seed has no more production in it where it cannot produce fruit. Now, it doesn't sound that alarming, but what is alarming to me is if they have gone from squash now and they have done it, let's say, to many other types of seeds, what could happen if this is true and if this is what I'm thinking you could plant, let's say, zucchini in your yard, and let's say you collect the seeds. Let's say your neighbor, a half a mile down, they're growing squash seeds that they got in the mail, and they don't know what it is, but they're growing beautiful squash. Then that bee comes over to your plant and pollinates your beautiful squash, your heirloom squash. Here is the issue. If they cross-pollinate, there's a possibility, if this is what's going on, that when you collect the seeds, the next time you go to plant the seeds from your squash, you're going to get half the production. You may not know what's going on. You went from beautiful fruit to small little vegetables on there. And maybe the next time you collect that seed, it won't be that good either. And what's going to happen at some point is you will cut open the fruit to find no seeds kind of like our pepinos we've got that do not produce seed. The only thing we can do on the pepinos is take cuttings. You can't take cuttings from squash. You can't take cuttings from a lot of other fruits and vegetables. I am very concerned right now, and I hope I'm wrong, that this is not what's going on. There's been no note with these seeds. Nothing comes with them. They're mysterious seeds. They've been coming for over a month, and they've been going all over the world all over the world it's not just the united states it's all over the world these packages i didn't plan any i didn't get any but i have two family members that did receive the seats if they accidentally had planted them and it was tainted to the point where it will diminish growth it will diminish the production of food if that is actually what is could possibly happen, we could end up with not being able to grow. Even though we grow heirloom plants, if somebody, a neighbor got a hold of those seeds, somebody not far from you and it cross-pollinated, you could end up not being able to collect any seeds because the seeds you will collect will not produce. Basically, that is what will happen. You'll produce less and less fruit and in a matter of one to two years, you won't be able to get any fruit. The government right now is looking into it. The USDA wants the seeds back. The problem is they will have to grow and test it because it could take time till they find out what the issue is with these seeds. They're going to look normal. They're going to look like tomatoes. They're going to look like squash. They're going to look like coriander. They're going to look like cucumbers. But when they grow, it would be the, the DNA of the seed is what they're going to have to test because if this is what has happened, and it may not be every variety of seed that was sent out, maybe they're testing some seeds. Maybe it's only a few seeds that do it. I don't know. I don't know. They don't know. The thing is, this can be frightening for everybody and anybody that consumes food. It doesn't matter whether you grow it or your neighbor grows it or a farmer grows it. It could be detrimental to our environment. Do not plant the seeds, contact your USDA, give them back the seeds, and make sure that it never hits the ground. It's been a big fear from many farmers that are now saying that if people tossed it out in the trash and it blew out in the ground and it blew somewhere and a bird picked up a seed and, and pooped it somewhere and it grew, they don't know what's gonna happen. So the point is, it could be nothing. It could absolutely be nothing 
or it could be something that could cause great harm. We're all going through a lot right now. We don't need our food supply tampered with. Please ask around, ask your friends, ask your family. See if they received it. You know, my sister told me and my daughter didn't even re realize until all this was going on that she had a package there, which she never planted, that she never ordered that came from China. Do not plant the seeds. Please contact the USDA. You will not be able to grow anything if the seeds have been tainted with GMO'd to the point where they are no longer productive. They may look productive for the first year and by the second year and third year, you won't have any food to grow. This is what scares me. Not my seeds. You'll have to grow in a greenhouse. You'll have to know where your seeds are. You'll have to keep bees off. You'll have to hand pollinate if that's what happens to the system. So please ask around, make sure anybody that got it, get them in the hands of the right authorities, please. Because if this is anything like what I'm starting to think about with the, with the Chinese have done with the squash. They've got a variety of squash, quite a few varieties of squash that are fabulous, fabulous food. But the only issue with them is you must continue to buy from the farmers that are producing those seeds. If you keep the seeds from the fruit that you produce off those seeds you buy from China, and they are legally here those, but if you keep the seeds, you will get half the production on the first plant and then the second plant that you plant from the seeds you've collected, you end up with basically no production. The food doesn't come. You end up with plants that do not produce anymore. And this is what is frightening to me and farmers right now all over the world. The farmers are now frightened over the seeds. So please ask around, see if anybody knows who got those seeds and make sure they get into the right hand so we don't have any problems because we all want to grow our beautiful squash, our beautiful tomatoes, and we want to know what we're growing. Best place, like I've always said, buy your seeds from Baker Creek, go to MI Gardener, go to Ray, he's online, Fedco, there's so many good seed companies, but don't ever plant something that you don't know, and especially the ones that are coming as a free gift, which, there is no note from China because it could be really a terrible Trojan horse. With that, have a good day and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye, everybody.